Irish with a rabbit and spent $64,000 on our new roof thinking it would solve her rat problem and she's still having an issue and we're about to help her out right, right now. now. So I get a call from Iris and you could just hear in her voice that uh, she's not getting good night's sleep. She spent $64,000 on this roof. She's got a bat that she's laying down in bed so every time she hears him in the walls she swings this big bat supposedly and gets temporary relief for a while and she's just Fair at enough. her wits end. Fair she enough. found us on our videos and she says Guys, you're my only saving grace. All right, guys, I came by myself. Dave's gonna come up a little bit later. I'm not gonna tell Iris. We're gonna surprise her. We're gonna play the twin little switch here and put a little smile on her face because I think that's what she needs. We're gonna keep that a secret right now. So let's go in and meet Iris. Look, at she even has a uh, repellent. to my rescue. Absolutely, wow. So so you're out in the middle of, literally there's a lot of space between the houses. Yeah. And yeah. are your neighbors, are they having any issues that you know of? The ones back here, we talked and they've been putting poison out, but not like the trouble I'm having. So you've hired an exterminator and then the last person was a, our company was a roofer, right? $64,000 worth of roofing. <gasps> and it was well, all because of the rats. I, that was the only reason I called them, was to find out how they were getting in and out, and they were not able to do that. So, but but the roofer, did they say, oh, we'll solve this problem for sure? We uh, Do they know about rats? Do they know about roof rats? I mean, what? Well, they have a whole crew that does nothing but. Yep. They came and they took out all the insulation because it was ruined. Okay. They disinfected, they sprayed, they put up a great fight, and uh, they put down new insulation. I've got new uh, vents. So when you heard the rodents, after they did all of this work, how did they respond? What happened? They came back out a couple of times, but they thought I was just a crazy lady, I think. You know, maybe you're just hearing the cracking in the house. Maybe it's your pipes. I said, look, I've been here 30 years. I know every sound. Yeah. These are rodents. Got it. Well, look, can you show me inside of where you're hearing those noises, Iris? Well, right now, it's all over the attic, but they have a favorite spot. Okay. Which happens to be my bedroom, right where I sleep. Of course, of course. <laughs> all right, so let's, so did you hear, when was the last time you heard them? This morning. This morning, okay, uh -huh. okay. You'll see, I have a bat, and I hit on the wall until I'm tired, Aww. and then they, I've been doing that for almost 18 months, and I'm really tired because I don't get a full night's sleep. Oh, I bet you that's so frustrating. It's very frustrating. Well, beautiful home, and it's spotless, so they're not coming into the house. So obviously, you haven't seen any rodent activity no. inside the house. And I move everything constantly. Okay. Because I'm not going to live with that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but they have not gotten into the living area. Right, but okay. they, they, they're trying. Let's go check out your uh, your bedroom. Okay. They love this wall over here. Okay. And you know, this is what I've, I've been doing for months to stop them to from stop scratching. It. And so when you do that, that, that they pause. Right, got it. And, and on that wall as well. Behind the TV? Uh-huh, because I hear them drop in in my bathroom oh you do so this is the bathroom here can yeah. i open this door uh -huh. here yeah open it i hear a thump and, and then something like metal uh-huh a few minutes later they're over here on my wall all right well here's kind of what to expect today then iris we've got a big day ahead of us so we're going to put our floor protection we're going to inspect the attic i'm going to do a perimeter check as well okay so the entire roof has been replaced the entire roof and so how did you find us? You were doing your research because you were so frustrated. Yeah, I was going, I said, look, somebody has to have expertise in this area that can resolve this problem because I'm an old lady and I'm tired and I don't think I should be fighting rodents in my retirement, mm -hmm. so. So there's the new roof. Here's her bedroom here. See, they put a bait box. So this is the two corner here of where her bed is. And there's the $64,000 rodent-proof roof. 
There's the sewer clean out right there. We'll probably be injecting some smoke. Probably those two vents right there. Block it off there. So there's another one of those repellents. It's called the 2 2X. Definitely not working. Here's another one. All right, let's head up to the attic. If they're up here, they're not hitting the traps. A lot of insulation, Thompson. Yeah. Let's try to. Let's crawl over by the uh, bedroom over there and see. We may have to, we're going to have to lift up some of that insulation and see if there's, because uh, she's saying she's hearing them all running across her attic. All right. I can't believe she spent $64,000 on her brand new roof and she's still having the problem. That just breaks my heart. Absolutely insane. We got to figure this out. All right, well, here's Iris's bat. You can see she's been pounding on the walls on that side and that side. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this area here and see what we can, we can find anything in here and do some exclusion work if needed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and introduce our smoke. Uh, let's see, probably start with that vent right there, Thompson. Okay. Because a lot of the activity is over here in those droppings that we found are right up above here. So something's going on in this area right here. So the crew's right now getting ready with the containment to open up those walls while me and Thompson are doing the smoke. One quick tip while I'm here, guys. The sewer clean out is way too high. Clean out should always be at ground level or below ground level because toilets and showers are at the lowest, right? There's, there's the slab right there. So if there's ever a backup for Iris, a mainline stoppage, her house is gonna be affected where this right here is intended for not only future access to clean the drain and clear it, but also it relieves all the sewage to the outside versus the inside. So just wanted to offer that quick tip. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut this because it's, uh, we're not being able to block off the main sewer. So we're gonna cut this, which it should be anyway. So do that right now. All right, well, we didn't see this vent in the attic. So it's gonna be interesting. Also in that access, I did not see a vent at all either. So it's gonna be interesting to see if we see any smoke come out of the other vents. If we don't, then uh, this is not connected. Not seeing any smoke, guys. Actually, yep, we're getting smoke. Uh, yeah, I just walked into it. There's smoke? Uh-huh. Might be coming from under here, maybe? Oh, yeah, I see it right here. You do? Yep, see yeah. that right there? Definitely smoky, guys. In the wall? Yeah, it's coming from the wall. You know your bat marks on the wall. Is that where you're hearing them on the wall? Or is it higher? Is it kind of, is it bed level? Both, yes. Both, okay. So it's about bed level. Uh-huh. Okay. We're gonna open up some pretty good areas in that whole corner because when we went up to the attic, you know, you have brand new insulation up there. Yeah. And uh, so we remove the insulation and there's a lot of rodent droppings above your bed. So we're going to remove the top portion of that so we can sanitize, but it's also going to give us a sort of a visual of what's happening and hopefully finding their runways at that yes, point. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Tear out the whole ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Okay, so we've moved all of Iris's bed and built our critical barrier here in that corner. We're going to make an incision of both of those walls and see what we can, uh, what we can find. Okay, so we're going to open up ceiling and the walls so we can get a really good visual of what's happening here. where the guys are cutting right here. You can hear them. Let's see if there's any burrowing. I don't see any signs at all. Yeah, they're not coming in through here. The break I saw, is it's, it's just a break. Are you able to see more over here too? Yeah, let's check it out. There's more rat droppings right here, a lot. Is there? Okay. Yeah. Let's 
zones whatsoever. Really bummed. Nothing in that wall. Man, this is a tough one. Gotta figure this one out. She definitely has a mice problem as well. Actually, she's, I think she's got more of a mice issue than she does a rat issue. So, uh, we've gotta figure this out. I'm gonna check her garage door sweeps right now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and explore this garage. And uh, we found some Doorway right there. Here's the uh, here's a runway here all the way across. There's a lot over there too, Thompson, on that side, yeah, right? There is. There's definitely a runway or a highway here, correct? Yes. So you got a lot of rat poop in here in the cracks. Yeah, I see daylight right here. Doors, especially for mice, guys, really important to they can get through there for sure. You can see that there's a runway. Now one thing, see what Iris did with the handyman? They put the glue board. That's away from the wall, which is not gonna benefit. You always wanna put it along the actual runway. You could tell that they're running along this way here. My brother Dave just showed up. I've been here by myself the entire morning, guys. So Iris just think it's one, thinks it's one of the twins here. So Dave's putting on my jacket. I'm He's gonna play Jimmy right now. Now, Thompson, prior to David's arrival, just found some fruit and some, some type of bait inside of the attic. So there's a suspect area because we're now going towards the garage. So Dave's going to give Iris that update right now. Iris? Okay, quick update. We have Thompson. He came in this way towards the garage area. Uh -huh. And we're finding a lot of activity, some fruit and some food items that the rats are bringing into this area here. Yeah. So I just want to provide you that update. And also, my brother Dave says hello to you. Well, hey Dave, thank you for sending the crew out. I need your help, desperately. Okay. And I'm getting ready to feed them. Prime rib. Ooh, yeah. prime rib. So hopefully they're now, Iris, I got a quick surprise for you. Can you stay for a minute? Right here? Yep, hold on. Uh oh, don't show me no rat. No, 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 oh. hold on. Oh. So she thought I was Jimmy. So here we go. Okay, Iris. Double trouble. Oh, oh boy. That's and I'm great. David. Now. I'm David, yeah, and I, this is Jimmy. Uh -huh. I switched the history on you. I don't try to change. I just know one is slightly taller than the other. That's right. But both extremely handsome guys. Oh, boy. thank you. That was fun. That's the beauty of having a twin brother. We can play tricks on that. Just like that. It was awesome. The tough part, Iris, is that when we come in after the fact, brand new insulation, you have bad insulation, which is thick. So it makes our job tougher because now we've got to move all of that around in order to really figure out where their pathways are. So I'm going to head up there with Thompson right now. So we're heading over towards the garage, which is this way here. Thompson found something. You go over there. And then they, we got this wire they chewed. So the garage is over here, huh? Where's the, uh, you said you saw some food? I saw some food. Right here, here it is. Let's get over here. Right here, this little channel area. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. This whole there's side's impacted, huh? More, more dropping it on this side than that side. Really? Look, there's a dead one right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Dried up. Dried up dead one right there. Yeah, this one. Hey Victor. Yes. Will you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. This is your first day. How are you liking it so far? It's pretty good. Good. Um, watch those rat traps right there. See those rat traps? Yes. Let's see here. Actually, here, remove that installation. I'm gonna move this one here. What is that? Is that a rat? Looks like it. Look at that, Thompson. <laughs> Crazy, huh? <laughs> I've never seen that. Sewer rat. Godzilla, king of the monsters, alive, surging up from the depths of the sea on a tidal wave of terror. I tried to prank him. <laughs> he didn't do anything. <laughs> it's fake. Uh, okay. It's it fake. Looks real. It looks real though. Uh, it's an old dried up sewer rat, but it's fake. Good job. I thought you were going to uh, <laughs> to react. Well, 
that didn't work. He was pretty calm. Getting ready for a prime rib lunch. And Iris made a beautiful lunch for us. Caesar salad. Oh my gosh. Get in my belly! Iris, you're too much. Well, I know this is hard work. Got your protein, you got your carbohydrates, you got your greens for your fiber. Mm -hmm. That's a well-balanced meal. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna remove a lot of this insulation so we can get a better idea of the runways. We're not able to find anything. So we're gonna remove all this insulation here and uh, just relocate it to another part of the attic that doesn't have the activity. But more importantly, maybe underneath all of this somewhere is where they're getting in. This is why we don't recommend replacing insulation or putting new insulation back in for several weeks until monitoring takes place and verifying that you have no more rats in your attic here. So here we are having to go through this extreme and removing this new insulation here. Well, you can see here there's the poison. So they've been uh, really biting on that, chewing on that poison. All right, guys, it's been about four or five hours in this attic. Still nothing. We're, we're still on the hunt. I'm gonna check behind this uh, tub here. Look at right there, guys. Open pipe, open pipe right there. Then this goes straight up into the attic and then right into her bedroom. Whoa, that tub drain was a huge, huge find today, you guys. Right where she's hearing most of the activity as well. So here's the bathroom where we found the open pipe is right behind this stucco wall right here. So the rats were coming up through and then entering into her bedroom, which is right here. So that's why she's hearing a lot of the activity. So the runway is from that pipe up the wall into the attic and right here above her bedroom. That's why it's imperative, you guys, before you spend all of that money on a huge investment to make sure and verify that if in fact those are the entry points, you wouldn't have to spend $64,000 on a roof. So something to consider when you're dealing with a pest control company. All right, so Dave went to the store and got a gym cap. So we're gonna go ahead and place that over here on this uh, bathtub and cover that pipe once and for all. Cap that off. Okay, we're gonna tighten that up and then monitor this here as well, but that's that's a big opening there for sure. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and explore. Remember when Iris called this out? She says, I, I'm seeing smoke in the kitchen. Well, we're gonna start now investigating as to what's going on here. As you can see, there's also some uh, droppings. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting smoke out of this hole here in the drywall. So this is why we need to open this up. This is definitely a suspect area, especially when you're seeing rodent droppings here. Very active in this area. Really odd that we're getting smoke coming out of these water lines. So right now it's an assumption that there's uh, this ABS pipe, there's a break underneath the slab and it's releasing the smoke underneath the slab and this is the least resistant path for the smoke to come through. The sleeving is, uh, is added to the copper pipe because copper is not made to be touching copper uh, uh, concrete. They also sort of deteriorate so this is quite right on here. All right guys, so we have a strategy here. We're gonna use the twin dust on that side where the garage is and we're gonna try to flush the rodents to Iris' side where we have all of the rat traps. So hopefully it works, keep your fingers crossed. All right, so there's two applications. One is a fogger and that's more of a vapor and then we apply the dust around the perimeter, all the dark spaces. Then we're gonna put our pouches. They come in individual pouches, so again, we want to take all the rodents that are alive in the attic to this side where we have all of our traps. All right, guys, it's been a long day here, but we're making progress. I love the idea of flushing those rats from that side of the house over to Iris' side, pushing them into those traps. But as of right now, that tub opening, it's, it's wide open. Source. It is right to that wall, up into that attic area there. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, guys, so the crew's on their way right now to do the coating. As you saw that smoke coming up through those water lines, that means there's a breach in her waste system. So we're gonna do the coating, so stand and by, we're gonna do that right now. Okay, 
Okay guys, the dust, the twin dust, really, really worked very, very well. And uh, we're gonna go ahead now and put it on Iris' side of uh, her house and uh, really aggravate and disrupt and flush these rodents out of the house. We wanna apply our dusting on top of the insulation and then we're gonna use our electrostatic fogger with our liquid so both of them vaporize. That's the great thing about the dust is that once it lays under the attic uh, insulation, then the concentrate, which vaporizes the dust and really disrupts the rodents' uh, activity in the attic and flushes them out of the house. So we throw the dust and let it settle on top of the insulation. And then we perform our electrostatic fogging over that and it saturates that dust and activates it, vaporizes inside this entire attic, flushing them out. It's an amazing process that we're discovering here. The key to attics and crawl spaces is to get to all of the dark hidden corners that the rodents harbor in. So that's critical that you get to the perimeter of the attic. All right, we're inside Iris's garage and I've got the, now the team working on getting some of this rodent dropping and urine cleaning up. See, this is what we call the highway, guys. This is a runways right here. A lot of activity back in these corners here as well. So I'm gonna get the team now to go ahead and get everything sanitized and cleaned and we'll also place some traps there as well. A lot going on today in Iris's. We've got guys in the garage cleaning, got crew up into the attic, I've got the sewer coating, so I'm going back and forth, kind of like a running back, you know? Iris has got our YouTube channel playing here while we're working. That's pretty cool. There's the rat bat. For the first time in over a year, you didn't have to use and you got a full night's sleep. Well, I got more hours than I've been getting. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So I you might have how, to retire this. See how heavy this Ooh. My son made that when he was in uh, middle school. Oh, wow. And he's uh, 50 now. So you know how long I've had that. And it really That's came a in guy. handy. So, right <laughs> so Iris, with all of the work that we've done, mm -hmm. You've seen all the efforts you've been pleased so far, correct? Oh, more than. That's awesome. More than. I, you, you're worth every penny that you're charging me. Thank you. You know, I, I don't feel overwhelmed by it because you've put in the effort, so much effort, and then your crew has been outstanding. Oh. So, you know. Iris, thank you. Yeah. Truly appreciate yeah. that. I want a hug for that. Okay. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, hands in the middle. And, yes. we'll just, and we'll say, no more rat bat. Ready? One, two, three. No, no more, more rat, rat bat. bat. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a journey this has been. So grateful that we were able to accomplish this job for Iris, Dave. All right there in that inch and a half pipe that's wide open to the wall, led right up into that attic area. And that's our twin dust just literally just got them Flushed crazy them so iris doesn't have to use the rat bed anymore guys thanks for following us on this one hit that like button hit the subscribe and as always we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one, one.